So this question is a diagram based question, at least because of the diagram provided here. We have a riser tread formula provided in the information, which is 2H plus D equals 25. So let's read question 19, which looks like it's going to be a translate word problem question, which again just means that I'm going to write down any quantitative information as I read it instead of reading through the entire question. And then we'll see if there's any other strategies that may be useful to find the answer. So question 19 says an architect wants to use the riser tread formula, so this formula right here, to design a stairway with a total rise of 9 feet. So I'm going to just write this down. Total rise equals 9 feet. A riser height between 7 and 8 inches. So H is between 7, I'll just say 2 eight inches and in fact I am going to convert this nine feet into inches right nine feet times one foot on the bottom so that the units cross out one foot is equivalent to 12 inches so that's my conversion factor nine times 12 is 108 so I'm going to just erase this for now and say that my total rise is 108 inches. And let's not forget that the total rise, which is this vertical line here, is just the sum of all of the riser heights, right? All those H values added together for the number of stairs that you have. The next thing we know is that uh, we have an odd number of stairs. So number of stairs is odd. Okay, with the architect's constraints, which of the following must be the tread depth? So D is what we're trying to find in inches of the stairway. So good. So I want to stay in inches. So good, good. Um, it's good that I converted this into inches early on. So I think, uh, you know, we're trying to find the value of D. We have this equation here. We know something about H, right? We at least have some short range of values that H can be. I think this is a good candidate for plug-in answer choices as a strategy. So I'm going to just make some space for myself. And let's say that when I try answer choice A, right? A is saying that D is equal to 7.2. So when I plug that into my riser tread formula, I get 2H plus 7.2 equals 25. I'm going to simplify this equation. Go to my calculator and see, well, what is 25 minus 7.2? I get 17.8. So I have 2H equals 17.8. Divide both sides by 2. And I get H is equal to... 8.9. Now, there's a problem with H being 8.9 because we're told that H has to be between 7 and 8. So 8.9 is too big. And therefore, answer choice A is not correct. I'm going to change colors here. Let's try answer choice B. So answer choice B is saying that D is equal to 9.5. So doing the same exact math, I have 2H plus 9.5 equals 25. I'm going to subtract 9.5 from both sides of my equation. So go back to my calculator and say 25 minus 9.5, which is equal to 15.5. 15.5, divide both sides here by 2. And what I have left is that H is equal to 7.75. Now, 7.75 is within... The range of values for H, so that's a good thing. So does that make it the correct answer? Well, no, because we have some other things to deal with. We have to figure out, can I get a total rise of 108 inches if my riser height is 7.75? And does that lead to there being an odd number of steps? So here's how we take care of that. So if the total rise is 108 and each riser height is 7.75, then 108 divided by 7.75 should give me the number of stairs that I have because each stair has a single riser height. 
So when I put that on my calculator, 108 point, I'm sorry, 108 divided by 7.75. Um, let's clear that, wrote that in wrong. 108 divided by 7.75, I get 13.93, which means that B also cannot be correct because I cannot have 13.93 stairs. So next I'm gonna try choice C. C is saying that D is equal to 10.6. And so I'm going to just do the same exact math, 2H plus 10.6 equals 25, subtract 10.6 from both sides, 25 minus 10.6 is 14.4, dividing both sides by 2, I end up with H is equal to 7.2. So again, that's a great H value because it's between seven and eight, but let's give it the odd number of stairs test. So 108 divided by 7.2 is equal to 15, right? So 15 is an odd number. So that's perfect, right? So our H value is between seven and eight. We know that if we have 15 stairs, it adds up to a total rise of 108 and 15 is also an odd number. So I'm very confident that choice C is the best answer here. Um, I know it's a long video, but <clears throat> if we were to try choice D, let's just see if it does not work. So I have D equals 15, which means I'd have 2H plus 15 equals 25, which means I'd have 2H equals 10, right? When I subtract 15 on both sides, which means I'd have H equals five, Right, which is what I get by dividing both sides by two. And we see here that H equaling five is no good because we want H to be between seven and eight. So choice C here is definitely the best answer.